Everyone's right? Yeah, well, good, good afternoon, everyone. Um, uh, thankfully, it appears that uh, the far north has uh, missed any uh, significant damage or uh, injury or loss of life uh, as a result of the crossing of uh, Tropical Cyclone Nathan earlier this morning. At the present time, uh, the cyclone continues to track across uh, the Cape and uh, is uh, gradually weakening and uh, hopefully later on this afternoon will be uh, downgraded to a tropical low. What's the damage like superintendent? Yeah, the two communities that were primarily affected uh, by the crossing uh, were both uh, Hopevale and Cooktown. Uh, I'm pleased to say that uh, the damage in both towns was minor. Uh, Cooktown, uh, the uh, a shed at the uh, hospital suffered some damage to its roof, uh, some damage to fences and uh, some vegetation uh, was damaged as well. It would have been a big night though for police, uh, always out on the watch to keep the community safe though. Yeah, it was a really big night for uh, all emergency services and, and indeed all those local government agencies and uh, councils in those areas. Uh, I know people worked right through the, through the night to make sure that um, the community was as safe as possible and, and just as importantly that everyone was in a position to uh, activate this morning uh, should they be needed uh, in the response phase or the uh, recovery phase. Like you said yesterday, you had 37 extra personnel up there. What are they all heading home? Yes, well, throughout today we're reassessing uh, the need for uh, the additional staff and we're happy to say that, that some of those will be uh, returning home today back to their families down south um, and that's good news. That's good news for our communities because clearly uh, the need for those additional resources uh, just wasn't needed at the end of the day. You've obviously been in touch with the crews up in Cooktown and beyond. What's the mood like up there? What have you heard from the ground? Uh, relief is the word that comes to mind this morning. Now, that's from both the local government areas and the emergency services. Um, everyone's woken up this morning, minimal damage uh, at this stage. There, there's still a number of inquiries we have to conduct to make sure that all those people in those outlying stations and those other smaller areas are OK, but it's looking very promising at this stage. Has there been any contact with anyone on Lizard Island about how they fared? Um, Lizard Island was uh, fully evacuated, as was uh, Cape Flattery. Um, this morning and through this afternoon, we're getting uh, rapid damage assessment teams to assess the damage on those islands. So at this stage, uh, I don't have a specific uh, uh, details of any damage uh, that has occurred there. What about Hogbear Yes, well, uh, again, there was some damage done to the, uh, the banana crop there, but no way near as severe as it was last year. Um, it looks like uh, while some of the plants have been damaged and some of the crop has been lost, uh, the majority of the, uh, the crop is still there. This was definitely a case of uh, prepare for the worst, hope for the best and, and sort of come out the other side, wasn't it? Oh, it certainly was, but what I can say is the level of preparation and the dedication and commitment of all the agencies and councils just highlighted yet again how the communities of Far North will work together and confront any of these uh, cyclones or any other disaster situation head on and uh, you know they can be very, very proud of the work that they've done in the preparation. And, and just in saying that, I want to thank the community also in all these areas. There wasn't complacency, they didn't take things for granted. Uh, the, the people up here, they certainly know what these systems can bring and it's through their work and their efforts and their preparation that uh, we can feel very secure that uh, we would have been able to face uh, even if the uh, cyclone had impacted further south. Was there any uh, section of the cyclone preparation that you think would be home for next time? Each and every year when we uh, front these uh, systems and we respond to them, uh, there are lessons to be learned. And this is no different. You know, the, the days of people saying we got it perfectly right, well, they just don't exist. We'll, uh, we'll look at what we've done this time. We will certainly uh, assess what we've done and where improvements can be made. We will certainly make them next time. Yes, absolutely. The, uh, this morning when we were getting some good situational awareness from our people on the grounds, it was uh, heartening to see that there was a, a bloke in Cooktown who was out uh, tossing lures uh, hoping to catch a fish. Now that to me is a great sign of people getting straight back into life and, and getting back on track.